I've read, I've learned that you had quite a challenging background in, yeah. in early life. Yeah. Uh, how have you, how, so if we look at that time, what were the biggest challenges and uh, how have these situations formed your life? You know, and, and I say like I've had a challenging background like all of us because I think all of us would look and say we've had challenging backgrounds and it's totally true. It's, it's all subjective to our experience. I came in this world very energetically sensitive, very psychically aware, but of course, with like many of us, without the maturity to understand it and handle it and anchor it. So when my family would play out their patterns, when there'd be bursts of anger, for me, it felt like I was on a battlefield and it was very intense. But from my earliest memories, and I didn't know what it was until years later, of course, but what I always had within me was this interest in observation. And I've always been very curious. And so every time I saw something happen, whether it was uh, a disagreement in my family, something unfair happened, I got blamed for something I didn't do. And I took credit for not do for doing it just to, just to get out of being yelled at, you know, things like this. I would always watch. I'd watch other people and I'd watch myself. And I didn't know why I was doing this. But it, from the earliest age, I didn't know why I was doing it, but I was like studying life. And so for me, before I even got into this field, I've spent my entire life watching and studying everything. And then at a certain point, you don't know it's a pattern, but you start noticing patterns. Like, oh, that again. How did that happen? Ooh, what did I do? And how did, ooh. And you, and you start to almost create like an understanding of how things are working. And so for me, it's always been an exploration of life. And the exploration of life is literally the foundation of what created my ability to be who I am, you know? So it was, my upbringing was a lot of codependent relationships. You know, if someone is unhappy and I'm feeling their unhappiness, I think they're unhappy with me. So I went around trying to make sure everyone was happy because I thought if everyone was happy, they must like me. So a lot of misunderstandings. And as I say this, I'm sure there's so many people listening that's going, oh my God, that was me too. So for all of us, it's really difficult when you come into this world very awake, very energetically sensitive, and you have to develop the maturity and the awareness to ground and anchor and understand what really all this is. And there's really quite a higher purpose to all of it, but in the beginning, for all of us, it is quite, quite an, in, an introduction to life on this planet.